This also gives us less chance the timber twisting and pulling your hand in. But again, that's why we got the 10 million dollar stick. Keep our fingers out of the danger zone. We love using the mitosaur, it's a great bit of kit, but you've got to make sure you're keeping your fingers away from those blades. Most mitosaurs will have some marks on there, the no hand zone, so any short stuff you want to cut can be difficult. You really want to get your hands in there and bring it in, so to keep your hands away and hold the material, what we've got is $10 million stick. Fantastic bit of kit made by Fast Cap in America and we've got it in the UK. So what we can do with this is use these rubberized prongs on the end to hold and control that timber and we can keep our hands away from the danger zone. On this saw here, to try and hold it, you want to support this end of the $10 million stick. So if I open this up, I can bring this out, get it to the right kind of position and just lock that down. Either use it with the two prongs at this end so we can hold it and bring our cutter down or you can spin it around and have two prongs at the far end and just have one on your timber. To improve control of the timber so it doesn't move, good idea to actually put a false fence across the back, but I'll show you that later. Otherwise, with these shorter bits, you could use this end with the two prongs and use this front prong against the front of the timber. That is going to help that from shifting. If you want to improve the quality of your cut and not end up with breakout at the bottom and the back, then it's worth putting on a sacrificial fence. This also gives us less chance of the timber twisting and pulling your hand in. But again, that's why we got the $10 million stick keep our fingers out of the danger zone. Sometimes I put a little red tab on there, just a reminder, you don't want to get your hands in closer than that kind of 150 mil, six inch distance. If you're using the saw a lot with a sacrificial fence, the kerf will tend to get a little bit wider. So if you can, make it so you can adjust it in, lock it off, and now when you cut through, you get a nice clean finish either side of your finished cut. So let's have a go with this one again. Let's see if we can get rid of that bit. What we've now got is a much cleaner cut top and back and it's a hell of a lot safer as well. One of the bits we're making at the moment is small buttons that we use to actually holding down tabletops, allowing tables to move. Again, they get quite small, so trying to control those is a bit tricky. There's some uh, in ash. Just gonna clean up the end of that one again. Really quite small now, so I wouldn't want to get my fingers in there at all. Million dollar stick in there. Let's see if we can get the end of that one cut for a start. For cutting these little buttons off to a continuous length, now we've got the sacrificial or false fences on there and the kerf cut that's been taken through, we know exactly where that saw blade is cutting. I'll just put a rule on here, and bring it over to, let's say, 22 mil, about seven eighths of an inch. Good crisp pencil line on there. What I can do is now use that as an accurate reference the length of my cut. We could put an end stop on there if we're doing hundreds of them, but I'm only doing a couple, so it's not really worth the hard work. Bring him up, just get him right to position. If you're doing 45 degrees cuts and you want to bring this around, best if you can to have the saw coming away from you rather than the saw coming towards your hand because now you've got to be really careful and getting this in there with a single prong is really going to help keep you away from that blade. We also use the 10 million dollar stick for removing stuff off the back of the table saw. If you've got small bits you want to be getting your fingers in there near that blade, you can just grab hold of them and drag them out of the way. The $10 million stick is available along with other fast cap products from Woodworkers Workshop within the UK and Europe. There's a link to the product in the description below.